last maybe about six hours before we actually started building everything and getting money together. But I just, I knew I wanted to do it. Then at a certain point, she wanted to get out of the workaday world and... Get into um, this workaday world. Yeah, get into this workaday world. <laughs> I'm creating a neckline on the piece, and that neckline will actually become the top of the finished piece. This neckline is where we're going to break the piece off the blowpipe when it's time for that to happen. This has another step to it. I'm going to heat this up and then Teresa's going to use some wet cork paddles and we're going to flatten this piece. very different uh, ways of approaching things in terms of our organizational sense, uh, but it, we've made it work. I mean, and we, we've been married, too, for 18 years, and so part of, you know, like we were talking about the week he opens up one week and I woke up, that, that's also like marriage management, you know, so that one of you isn't always doing just the, the stuff that you may not really, it's not fun, you know, but somebody has to do it, so we try to take turns. Mm -hmm that way, um, which helps keep a balance. Well, it's a real partnership. Yeah. Good. Grady, go ahead and turn off the big guy, please. Where we connected the rod to the bottom of the piece, there's always a little bit of a rough spot. So with just a tap of a piece of wood, I'm going to get that to let go. And I'm going to heat the glass up and smooth it out. And this oven is sitting at 900 degrees Fahrenheit. And throughout the morning as we're making pieces, we put pieces into that oven so that they can sit there at 900 degrees, which is cool enough to where the glass will not move anymore, but it's above a critical temperature range. And then when we're done for the morning, this will start a 14-hour cool-down cycle to get from 900 degrees down to room temperature in 14 hours. We can do what we want, but just because we make it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to sell. sell. There's a fine line between your creative ideas and being able to make something that is sellable. So you have to kind of walk a line between what you can economically produce and and make things that are attractive, you know, and that's where good design comes in. I'm just gonna need to leave room for Teresa to get through there. As you're making a, a piece before you get to the final shape, there's a lot of different shapes that happen to get there. And I see things when I'm working like that. That's where I get a lot of ideas. And just out in the world, seeing different shapes and forms and color combinations and, and stuff uh, is, how, is how stuff comes up.
glass is a really magic medium. It's different from paint or ceramics or anything else. And the thing that's different about it is the light, the way the light interacts with the colors or the way the colors interact with the light. Our work has gone all around the world. It's gone to places that I've never been to. Creating something that, if it's taken care of very well, can last longer than we last. We, at some point, will start thinking about how to wind things down or pass it on. I'd love to see the, the business go on after, mm -hmm. after I can't do it anymore.